guys so welcome back thanks for clicking so morgan freeman attempt the other in chariot so let's see how he's gonna you know do his call to prayer in Cairo. so let's check it out i've decided to return to cairo to try and understand cairo. who god is to muslims islam believes in the same god as jews and christians but I want to know if there are differences in how they think about the divine. Historian of Islam, Ahmed Raghab, has brought me to the Al Hussein Mosque. Mm. And you can just come in here just like a Catholic church. So yeah. it's always open to prayer. Yeah. If you want to come in here and you just can hang out with uh, yourself and Allah. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Yeah. I'm just in time to hear what Muslims believe is one of the most beautiful sounds in the world. The call to prayer. For the faithful, the song of the Muezzin is a manifestation of God himself. So that's the end of the prayer is by saying assalamu alaikum much like you in you end an encounter with anybody and it is because the prayer is essentially a meeting with God like like hey right. you know see yeah. you later nice talking to exactly. you <laughs> see you the next time Prayer to Allah seems like a conversation with a person. But how do you speak to a person who has no human form? Mm. To help me understand, Ahmed has arranged a meeting with the mosque's spiritual leader, Imam Alamir Mahfouz. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Welcome. In the Christian religion, God is so manifested. But there is no such thing in Islam. So who am I talking to? Do I envision anything? في في المسيحية مثلاً هناك تجسيد وتقسيم للإله. كل ما خطر ببالك. فالله بخلاف ذلك. You cannot imagine God. Um, God is beyond imagination. Whatever you would imagine with our human minds, God would be different from it. One of the most parting and beautiful sounds in the world is the Muslim call to prayer. Mm. What was the origin of that? Uh, it is said that uh, one of Muhammad's companions had a vision uh, while uh, he was asleep where he heard this uh, call for prayer and then when he woke up he went to Muhammad and told him about it and he's made it into this ritual of using it to call for prayers every day, five, uh, five times. times every day. Wow. The Muezzin, how is he chosen? Do you hold auditions? Wow. The, the, there are auditions where they would listen to people and the one who has the best voice would be given the position. Mosques are designed to be filled with beautiful sounds and images that delight the senses. From elaborate architecture to verses of the Quran written in the finest calligraphy. Many Muslims see this beauty as a manifestation of God himself. Islam sees God in all things that are beautiful. Because God has no physical form, he can be experienced anywhere with any of the senses. Mm. But these experiences are only ever aspects of the divine. God is always more than we can imagine. Wow, I really love this video, guys. The fact that, you know, it took a tour to the mocks to actually understand who 
who are the Muslims, what Islam entails, and how do they pray? And how do they pray in Islam? And how, how do they communicate to God? So when he got there, he was kind of perplexed to see how they were praying, you know, and he was like, wow. And um, they, they were having call to prayer, like praying aloud and he was wondering how do they do that how do you communicate to somebody that like it's as if they are communicating to somebody they are not seeing in, in form of a human form but they are not seeing the person physically that's how he, he classified muslims when they are having their prayers and i love the question he asked the imam i never even thought of that question and it was a good question i said those people that actually um do the call to prayer do they do auditions for them? How do you know that this person has a very nice voice to do the call to prayer, to actually, you know, um, to do the other, yes, the call to prayer? And the, and the man was like, yes, they do audition to pick the best people that have the best voice, to pick people that have the best voice that, that will sound so angelic, you get it, so nice. And wow, beautiful. He attempted it, but it's not easy. <laughs> Those people that did that always um do the court prayer men. That 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 that's really mind blowing because they, they they do well, they do exceptionally well because you trying to ah uh, ah uh, like it's it was really fun to watch and wow wow wow. So after the old tour he now got to understand that okay this is how Islam is, you know, this is how they pray, this is the reason why they communicate to God in this manner, and you know, that was beautiful to watch, that was really beautiful to watch, it's short, but I really learned a lot from this, and made me understand more about, you know, Muslims, about Islam, when it comes to them praying to God, communicating to God, and beautiful to watch. Thank you so much for watching, guys, I'll see you in the next one, bye.